Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC and today's video is the best scissor sharpener for your Angora Rabbit grooming scissors and the how and the why of sharpening your scissors. So this is the best sharpener. This is the Fiskars and it is, if you use the link below, it's $10.49 for this sharpener. And the reason why this is the best sharpener is because it's a, it's affordable and it's incredibly durable. It lasts for many, many sharpens, year after year after year. I've had this one for many years. It's been dropped. It's The only thing that hasn't happened to this thing is getting run over by a car. So it can handle all sorts of different um, scissor lengths for your blade. It can handle different scissor types and it's very easy to use. When you take your scissors, these are the Westcott Titanium, these are the five inch ones, and these are available, they're like six dollars and 16 cents, which the link is below as well. You literally take these scissors, open them up, and place it in the sharpener, like this, and you close them. That's as easy as it is. So you open, and as if you're cutting, just the same movement. Open. Close, open, close. And you're gonna do this. It only takes a few passes on this sharpener. You can do it on this end if you really wanted to do the switch ends, but I do it just like this. And that's literally all it takes. So why do you wanna keep your scissors sharp? So dull scissors are not gonna cut wool they're gonna hack the wool. You're gonna get your second cuts, and the second cuts again are when you cut your rabbit's wool, and all of a sudden maybe you clip a piece and then you clip it, they're, they're little itty bitty pit, little itty bitty pieces. So dull scissors are also gonna cause more fatigue in your hand because instead of that quick, easy clipping motion, you have to press down more. You're opening, you're closing, you're opening, you're closing, you're using more pressure, you're moving your hand, you're trying to get the wool clipped. And when you're doing all these different movements, instead of a nice, clean shear, the risk of being able to either cut yourself or cut your rabbit is You keep your scissors sharp, and it doesn't take much effort. It doesn't take a lot of money. And you literally cut your, you cut your wool, get it over with, and very simple. 